Yeah, 16 on Sunday. What's going on? Hi. So here in uh, My Son. I remember the name. Hey. <laughs> my Son getting tickets about to explore. Hello. This is the place. Alright, come on. And I don't really, I don't really notice much about the place. Russell kind of knows this, and we've kind of been like, uh, some people have told us about it as well. So, you know everything. What is this place? What I have to start it off to let people kind of know. <laughs> um, it is it's, uh, uh, it's, um, because of. Uh, I only thing I know is it's a UNESCO heritage site. Mm -hmm. That's all I know. Yeah. And um, which is more than me. Which is more than you. And it's, <laughs> it's it's ancient. I know that. Yeah, ancient, beautiful. Cultural exchange and integration yep. of external cultures, especially out of the old Hinduism. Yeah. Got to take a shuttle to get there. There's a lot of shuttle stops. It's a UNESCO in December 1999. Oh, okay. All right. That's the that's the people who donate to keep preserve it and everything. Here we go. I've got one for them. Ready? Yep. Uh, it's an, uh, it's an, they're still the most important and complex of Hin Hindu temple towers developed from the 4th century to the 13th century. We got a little look at it right over there here. I'm sure there's more to see than that, but uh, yeah, that's what I know about it. Like I say, you guys know, I, I just go to the place, figure it out, learn about it while I'm there. Most important thing for me is to, to be there. So now it costs 150,000 dong to get in, which is about six, seven euros. Um, and uh, yeah, my son. Thank you. Amazing. Even before we've gotten to the main part, it's just the the nature. It's quiet. It's calm. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> oh. And here we go. Okay. So apparently it's two kilometers away. Would be great exercise walking there, but uh, ah. And now, I have to see where we are and where we have to go. We're on the left track. Yeah. Left, so, so we're going. So I guess we are off. We are off. The one thing about the map, it was great to show where we had to go. But I didn't see any distance measurements there. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know, this could be a five minute walk or... No idea, but the nature here is incredible. You can even see paths of animals or people that have walked through there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh yeah, you, should, you guys should know, just in case you guys see, as I'm talking, you see Russell in the background picking up snakes and lizards and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> That's kind of his thing. <laughs> I'm Australian, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> One thing that you know one thing that comes to my mind whenever I'm in places like this is kind of how like temporary everything is you know we look at our society where you're from where I'm from and we have these big buildings and it's just like this is the new thing this is the this is like gonna be forever this is and then you come to places like this and you realize like 
it was the same for them and the people that were here thinking it would be forever this is the strongest thing ever and then you look and i mean i know hundreds of years have passed but at the same time kind of puts things into perspective of how temporary just things are just in the term of a lifetime or hundreds of years or thousands of years and then what you're seeing right here here and on that side those are like bomb craters which is pretty insane so you could definitely see like a bomb run would have been in a straight line going all the way all the way down there another bomb crater there I'm guessing there'd be more bomb craters probably over there and yeah like Russell pointed out that basically before like I was saying like we walked through here everything was kind of clear if not this is how like everything would have looked trying to get through there talks about this area right here was badly damaged in the war and it was put back together by the Vietnamese government with the collaboration of Polish experts. And I guess the thing for me since I don't know so much about all this history, one thing I always worry about making these videos is that I spoil it for you. And trust me, out of anything you see throughout this as I'm walking, even here, it's nothing compared to being here in real life. So if there's one thing I could say is definitely come here and see this for yourself. I mean, the detail, the just thinking of what this was like before and what the work they had to do just to restore it to what it is now. Because as you can see, even right here, this is a, this is a bomb crater. So a bomb literally struck that close like that close to here, like right there. And for me, it's it's always about respect. So many times when I come to places like this, even if it's not, I've thought about it before, even if it's not the same religion, the same beliefs, the same culture, it's about respecting what is there. And especially being in a place like this with the history that it has, and not only the history that it has, but the surviving history that it has of being almost destroyed, being targeted actually, and still making it through and being put back together. And even now they're building it up. It's just something that's, uh, yeah, something I, I try to show you guys, but please come and see for yourself. And I guess on that note, maybe one quick montage before coming back here to end the vlog. It's, it's everything. I mean, even just to walk to this, if this wasn't here, just walking through the jungle, seeing the, the overgrowth of the, literally jungle, hearing the sounds, it's something that, yeah, everyone should definitely come and see. Hope that this didn't spoil it for you. Definitely in real life. How many times have I said definitely? Someone's gonna say that in the comments. But it's something that you need to see for yourself. I can never make it, uh, it it's much better in real life. That's the easiest way to say it. And I guess on that note, gonna enjoy the rest of the time here, uh, explore a little more, but thank you guys so much for your support and I'll speak to everyone later and everyone always remember to work hard, be brave.
and don't forget to smile. Ciao.